Go a lot with Photoshop. Jazz and York versus Chip Groove and Dubois. Oh, this should be cool. Marth Falcon, I don't know about this, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I am being informed about how I'm getting home. Kinda. So I'm a little confused. Dublat is actually one of those players who just kind of showed up and was like, hey guys, I'm really good at this game. It's like, he's been he's playing in Athens for Really? Yeah, turned actual warriors. <laughs> Once he moved dude. to Atlanta. Because apparently nobody, uh. Oh, starting out. Nobody plays like melee in Georgia except for. Atlanta. Oh, they're really just going straight into it? I think so. Good for them. I applaud that. Awesome, dude. Great. We've been waiting a while. Fucking go, dude. Oh, that up smash, up smash though. from Chip. Happy for you, Wombo Combo. Wow, oh, that you're smash. already down. Looks like Jazz is gonna go down you. too. Of course, you happy for you. Wow, see, that's what I'm saying. That's that support type Falco where you get those lasers out there and you can save Fox. Now, if you see Chip Group's in a bad position, he's stuck in between two spaces. It's not the spot you want to be in against characters that have shine. <laughs> Dublat seems to be having a hard time sort of getting in and doing his own thing. How funny would it be if Chip switched to Sheik? That would be classic. Yeah, he does play a bit of Sheik, doesn't he? Uh, probably. Oh. Oh, Too man. quick Poor Yor, Falco. Poor Yor, dude. Good kill on Dublat. Oh, nice. That's what he need. really needed that kill on Chip Group, too. This is making the game much more even. Chip Group up smashes a lot. Yeah, it seems so. He really needs to be over there helping Dublat right now, and he's, uh, he wasn't. Oh, Seems like he's kind of oh, playing get him. singles. Sick kill by Fox. Also, well done. Down. York messes up, does a flutter hush there when he's trying to follow up and combo the Falcon. See, this is those positions they need to be in. They need to split up the Marth and the Falcon so they can't cover for each other. Because I think in a 1v1 scenario, they can both take care of the other. Uh, the Spacey's can take care of the other, that is. Yeah, I think Spacey's definitely want to force a lot of 1v1s in this, in this matchup, because uh, when Falcon and Fox, or Falcon and Marth don't have room, you know, they're going to have a lot of trouble dealing with Fox and Falco. Because yeah. normally they need a lot of room to deal with those characters, but then teams just can't get that space. Completely agree. Completely agree with that. And it seems that uh, Jazz and York really trying it right now to make this comeback. Interesting that Jazz has held on to so many stocks, but he is Fox, so really quick side B from Dublat. Sends him off the stage. Interesting side B from York. Oh, he took the stage. Oh, no. Dublat. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Crazy side spike, and then it looks like Dublat just flies in. It's not looking too good. Ready for to take team that Blue. kill. Uh -oh. Chip Group really needs this combo on Fox if he wants uh, to close out this game. So many ups, man. I wouldn't count out Spacey's just yet. Okay, here we go. This is the combo that Chip Group needs. He keeps dropping it, too. Oh, what a knee. This is where they really can just clean it up now. This is really hard for York. Yeah. Poor York, you're just kind of getting tossed around. What do you think they need to do differently? I mean, I think this would be a good stage for the Spaceys. I agree. I agree. I think Pokemon Stadium as a counter pick can help them quite a bit, too. Uh, I feel it like having more flat room and not the high platforms. If you saw it, Chip Group was going to the high platforms a lot. Yeah. Uh, I think that benefits him quite a bit to sort of reset the situations when he's getting hit. I think that Falco, with that less... Uh, where not that third high platform can also cover for Fox a lot more too with lasers. It seemed that York was playing really aggressively that game, and I don't know if York wants to play really aggressively. He, he wants to. He's a very aggressive. Well, I mean, player. sure York wants to, but I'm saying um, in terms of getting the W, you know, I, I don't yeah. know if playing so aggressively is the right choice. I think that playing a more supportive style is better. Really? Picking Dreamland? That surprises me. I feel that it's, it'd be much harder to kill Marth and Falcon on Dreamland than it would be on Pokemon Stadium. Interesting. Yort seems to be playing very aggressively. They're trying to fight in 1v1s. 
if they can get in those 1v1 situations where the blue side gets the first hits, that's definitely where they're going to win this game. And they do need to win this game. I think it's interesting that they counterpicked a, a free land. Yeah, absolutely. It's like really this is like not what they wanted at all. Could just be a comfort pick. Uh, maybe they so. weren't comfortable on Pokemon Stadium with transformations or something like that. Jazz getting knocked off stage. Uh, both Chip Groove and Dublat trying to get him. Bad synergy. Ends up with Dublat dying. Dublat holding on to Falco. Now they really want to do some damage to Falco in those 1v1 si or 2v1 situations. Very important in doubles that you take uh, advantage of. 1-0, uh, Chip Groove, and yes. teammate. You know, what hurt him a lot last time was Falco died really early. Yes. So if uh, Falco can manage to stay alive a little bit longer this time around, uh, Absolutely. Yeah, it could be good for them. But uh, it's not looking like that's happening. And uh, Falco's going to live forever on this stage. Unless they can yeah. get good game. So it looks like Yort has uh, sort of reset himself. He starts playing a little bit more supportive with lasers or defensive, I suppose. Uh, good thing that Jazz makes it back on stage, but he's still getting ripped on by this mark. And Chip Groove is not letting... York get in there. Ooh, oh, what man, that sucks. kill. I, I still think that's good for green team, though, because yeah, if you look, yeah. they're, they're stocks ahead. And Dublat's just kind of sitting there letting Chip Group do his thing. Jazz and York trying to figure out how they want to approach the situation, and it's not working for them. Man. I just feel like it's very chaotic. Yeah. And it's not working out for the blue team. Amazing from Dublat. Really good, solid, clean kill. Those are exactly what they need. <laughs> Oh yeah, the Z drop by uh, whatever your <laughs> undercover by the. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Daniel. In case you care, um, <laughs> you can also call me D bag. Um, but uh, yeah, the Z drop in the air is really fast. Jazz and you are really holding on to this game. It looks like they really don't want to go down 0-2. That's really bad for them. Uh, I'm not sure if this is still winner's bracket. Though. Yeah, no, this is losing bracket. Yeah, I thought so. Wow, wow that was Latin quick to a... Really, take that. That was a 2 and a handshake. Holy, wow. Jazz had zero kills in that in that game on Dreamland. Zero. Jazz was not pulling through for the team. That... Wow. And now there's nobody around. Yeah, uh, everyone seems to have left. Uh, I'm not sure why. Where'd HBox go, I guess, is a better.